It's not like I'm trying to brag or anything like this. I'm just so excited because of my new tool that I won in the Epilogue contest organized on the Instructables, which thanks to Instructables and Epilogue lasers for this Epilogue Zinc laser cutter. It is so awesome. I can't wait to start making projects with this thing. I already have a cool idea for a Bluetooth speaker that I want to make using my Dremel CNC and the laser cutter. When I got this laser cutter, I was so excited that I thought that I would make just a silent video uh, of how I unpack this thing, how I build this table, uh, because I welded all of that, then I added some plywood for the shelves, 
and now I have a really clean setup for the laser cutter. Then we had to, together with my dad, uh, create holes in the walls in order to get the tube out of this place uh, so that the films from the laser cutter can go outside and for that I need an air pump. There is also another air pump to pump the air into the laser cutter in order to get the films out of the surface of the plywood or anything else that you are cutting. And there is also a vector table so that you can easily achieve a really clean cut when you cut pretty much anything. Except for the project that I want to make using this laser cutter, I also thought about making a video about introduction to laser cutting for beginners. Let me know what you think about this idea in the comments. I would like to make a video about not only how to set up the machine, how to use it, what can you do, but also about safety because this is really, really important when it comes to laser cutting. I also started cutting some stuff out of plywood, as you can see. I made some coasters and some other stuff and a racket model. It was really cool. And I also noticed a huge difference between a laser plywood, this is a laser plywood especially made for laser cutting, and a normal plywood. I can cut this laser plywood five times faster than normal plywood and also the finish on the top is way better than normal standard plywood and it's really not that expensive. There is not a lot of difference when you want to engrave on laser plywood or normal plywood but when you want to cut stuff the difference is huge. I really can't wait to start making projects with this laser cutter uh, but today in this video just to show you what it can do I have something like this, someone asked me to put a graphic on this thing uh, so I thought let's do that on video and I will show you how to prepare just shortly, not very in depth uh, the graphic to laser cutting and then we'll engrave some stuff and that's pretty much it for this video I really don't want to get in depth with the proper settings with the software that I use in this video I'm using VisiCut by the way uh, and here it is the VisiCut software so that I can remotely via Wi-Fi send the job from my MacBook to the Epilog laser uh, and basically for engraving you can use any kind of file like PNG if you want to cut you need to have a vector file but for engraving PNG is fine uh, so now I will just set up this engraving I will set up the speed and power that's pretty much everything that you have to set up and once this is done uh, we can send this job to the laser cutter, but of course we have to first see turn it on. Here I have two switches. Uh, right here I have connected the router and the laser, so that I can easily turn it on and off with this switch. And right here I have both air pumps, so that I can easily turn them on and off. Uh, when I'm not cutting I keep this turned off, but this on. And when I cut I always turn this thing on. And now with just one click, even without a physical connection between computer and the laser cutter, I can send this job to the laser cutter. And I also need to take this thing apart because it is a little bit too big to fit it into the laser cutter. Now we can just put this piece into the laser cutter. And before we start our work, we have to set the proper focus and in order to set the proper focus, we need to use this spring mechanism. Uh, you need to click this button and then with the up and down arrow, you can set the proper focus. This, this needs to touch your material just slightly. That's just about the right focus. So once this is done, we can close the lid and simply press go, that's it.
I hope you enjoyed this very short video of me building the table for the laser cutter and a quick showcase of what this machine can do. Uh, this is what it can do in just 4 minutes, pretty amazing. Thanks again to Instructables and Epilog for this amazing prize if you would like to see more in-depth video about how to use laser cutter and all of that. Let me know in the comments and that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!